Shaylee, um, Aussies for Yang. So, um, we had a ripper of an event for National Yang Gang Day. You're like, Shaylee, but you're not part of National Yang Gang Day. You're Australia. Blah, blah, blah. We don't care. We did it anyway. And look, who's this guy? Who's this? My Andrew Yang pin. I got it from one of my fellow Melbourne Yang gangers. How cool is that? We had an absolute ripper of a day. Um, I just wanted to like say that um, it was really awesome to see so many different people from everywhere get together and um, have events and kind of meet and connect. And I just wanted to talk a bit about what we got up to in Melbourne, Australia. So, um, what I'll do is I will put a Twitter link below of some photos and some video and stuff of our event because um, I'm not very savvy with video and like doing editing and all of this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to talk about it real briefly. Um, but there ended up being 12 of us, which was so surprising and so awesome because I was like expecting there to be like two people. Um, and yeah, we all came from like different walks. We all like, you know, got along really, really well. And we went to the park and we got some pictures and we yanged an American, which was super cool. Um, Cause we like needed someone to take our photos. We asked this guy and as soon as we heard the accent, we knew he was American. And so we were like, wow, have you heard of Andrew Yang? And he was like, mm, no. And we were like, blah, 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 and we gave him stuff. Um, cause it turns out that one of our, um, one of the people in Melbourne, uh, her husband is American, so she's got merch. And so we got some merch, um, we all got little, little badges, some people got shirts, we took photos, and then we met up with this politician called Stella, um, and she's a Labour politician in Mel, in, um, she is the... Labor member for Menzies, which is an eastern suburbs of Melbourne area. And she came along and met up with us. And then we all went and got burgers and beers at the Grand Taverna in Melbourne. And we all just hung out and talked politics and talked about our favorite Andrew Yang policies and where we like first saw him, which like all of us pretty much were Joe Rogan people, which was really funny. Um, and then we talked to Stella about the Labor Party and about what she kind of like the appeal that she saw in Andrew Yang and what policies that she'd like to potentially implement and how we could go about um, working out who's to best like talk to in the Labor Party um, and try and get some politicians and, oh, hello, stuff on board. Um, get down. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was so cool. So we got a little bit of insight into, into stuff there and, how like, I think that like her main thing is like human-centered capitalism. I think that's a good start for Australia. I mean, I'd love to get a UBI um, and an implement and a dividend, but it's um, until you can get someone to like recognize the importance of human-centered capitalism, it's really hard to persuade them to want a freedom dividend and to want a UBI. Because like they look at UBI and if they're only viewing things on like gross profit and stock prices and stuff like that, and then the UBI doesn't show any improvement in, um, you know, GDP or workforce participation or whatever, which is kind of rubbish because I'm pretty sure that it does anyway. But that's like the common like argument is that, oh, it's not going to make people work as much and rah, rah, rah. And if you can convince people that like human centered capitalism, where you have the metrics is not just about profit um, and GDP and stuff. It's also about mental health. It's also about suicide. Um, drug addiction, um, the uh, financial health of people, physical health, environmental health, and you say, look, we're going to create this big scorecard, the Aussie scorecard, and it's going to have all these things as a part of it, and we need to make our corporations and businesses accountable for these things. So if you can prove that you're actively contributing to making mental health more of a priority in Australia, for example, you might get a tax cut and stuff like that. And I think that once you start implementing that perspective, then the brain will shift into UBI. So I think that's the approach we're going to potentially look at taking, which is super awesome. 
Um, and we're definitely going to meet up again. We're going to probably try and meet up monthly and I'm sure that the group will grow. Um, and then, yeah, it was really, really good. Um, I had a blast. I met heaps of really cool people. I have some new friends now, which is cool because I don't have many friends in Melbourne. And overall, like, yeah, it was just super exciting to see so many people as excited and crazy about young as me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Um, I really enjoyed watching some of the other videos and stuff of people as they were celebrating Yang Gang Day. Um, I really enjoyed, like, the video of um, the guy who was, like, singing at the pier and got really angry and then they, like, gave him heaps of money and then he sang Alleluia. That was, like, really, really, like, teary and I, like, struggled not to cry through that because I, I'm, like, a, as you can probably tell, that's my recording gear in the background. Um, and I'm a songwriter and... You know, like, I understand the difficulties of busking and performing and getting your spot and then being completely, like, messed up by something. Like, that could be the difference between, like, having enough money for a week or not. And, like, the way that they handled that was just so gracious and so nice. Like, they knew that they'd inconvenience this guy. So they were like, well, we'll, like, compensate you and we'll support you. And that was just beautiful to see. So I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing all the pictures of all the different groups, no matter how great or small, just getting out there. Because that's the thing, right? We all just need to, like, get out there and spread the message of Andrew Yang. Um, and, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who came along to the Melbourne Day and to any Yang Gang participant who participated. Um, it, it makes a big difference. Um, and hopefully we can get some media coverage and um, kind of get more, like, press out there about it. Um, but I'm sure we're going to have plenty more of these days to come. So... Keep at it guys and I will see you soon. Bye.